this is a Nissan hard body. Uh, I've been called um, that this car has failed to start, has just failed to start for a full week, and uh, they were narrating me it has got a wiring problem. But according to my experience, I discover so when I start this car, I don't see it starting. I try to crank it, it doesn't start. So I turn off, I try to crank it, nothing is showing. So I go and check with a fuel line why it's not starting. So I open my bonnet, I open the bonnet, and I close the door. I go and check the f go and check why is it not starting. So normally, commonly, uh, the first thing you have to notice is you notice what kind of engine. I notice this a, a ZD. Uh, 3.0 so common problems are normally found in um, uh, uh, with this car if it is cranking and it's not rich and it's not starting then it is, has a challenge always with the fuel uh, because on the dashboard is showing everything so when I check on a, on a pump here I feel the pump shows me a uh, fuel is full but I, I take a naked second step and pull this pipe and see. Uh, when you see it, it has got bubbles. You can see uh, there are a number of air bubbles. They are showing you that there is um, this, uh, this system is having somewhere where it's sucking in air. And so with the diesel engines, commonly when it sucks in air, it hardly starts and it develops that hard start. So what I do, I open, I pull out the two pipes. You can see these two pipes. Uh, this one takes from the pump, takes to the injector, and then this one removes out. So I want to find where I can remove that air, and I want to know where is it passing from. But commonly, with experience, I know that this system, normally when it's faulty, it takes in air. So I want to check it and find out why before anything is taken but commonly i'm sure about this so i pull this pipe and it shows me that there are air bubbles inside so what i'm going to do i'm going to pick my tools and try to remove it out and see why is it uh, why is this car not starting and uh, what i'm suspecting is it true it's uh, having an issue but it's the reality that normally this is where the problem is so i go to my toolbox i pick that is a uh, uh, the bolt opens with the inch 19 spanner, so I pick my tool. So, yeah, good. You can see it's here exactly, it's near here. So, I, I come, I, I, I'm i going to open it, I'm going to open it, and uh, I check it. Uh, why, where is the ear passing from? So, I open it. I want to remove this bolt. This is a banyo bolt. It's a special bolt uh, made to perform a certain function to, uh, to help fill the, the pump and make sure that this complete air, I mean, complete, only complete is fuel which is needed. Any, any air escapes through it and uh, does not go back inside the injector. So I remove it. So I've removed it out it moves with some washers that are called fiber washers and younger boring they would see the fiber washers this washers here this one's here so this is what I wanted so I want this one exactly this one here this one so when I check this do my mouse I find it is loose it is passing my air even the one of the mouse it's just even when I suck it like this, I see it's passing. When I'm, I, it passes. See? So, this, if this is a mouse and it's passing, then this thing is able to enter in to pull sucking air into the, uh, the fuel system, uh, which is uh, um, an issue with the, with the injector, I mean, with the uh, uh, diesel engines. It doesn't really container it doesn't want anything to do with the uh, fuel airs I mean a mixture of airs in the fuel system so I'm going to get another part of this another 
another one of this and change and see what happens and i believe you're going to see some wonders here so let me get uh one that i've come with and see what wonders So I, I, I brought this, so I'm going to change this one. This old one, I'm going to put it aside, uh, put it aside, and uh, assemble it back to this. You first get this, enter it, then you get this one and put it inside, and then this will look like this. So it be like this. So I bought it back here, where I got it from. It's a one minute one. So let's see what happens. I'm going to bolt it to this area where I got it from. Uh, this another uh, this new spare that I brought. I'm going to bolt it. I'm bolting it. I'm bolting it here. Back. So I want to remind you that uh, this this system is the, is a this is a special bolt with holes. But made with, made in a way that it has a lot of function that it does in that area. So, so I have fixed a new one. I'm just only fastening it. Not me, not fastening. You show here. I'm fastening it now with my spanner. Use this spanner, uh, inch nineteen. Inch nineteen. But don't forget this is Z. Uh, this is a ZD. This is ZD 3.0. Uh, each other other vehicles have different uh, different uh, mechanism, different designs of the injectors. But this one is especially here. So, so there are really common problems. Really common problems. So I feel I'm I've fastened it enough. I feel I've fastened it enough. So when you light, you can see, uh, uh, you can see my things how they are. So I pump. You can see you're going to observe when I pump here. It's going to show me that it's all a fuel which is returning. Which when the system is full, it's going to fill that place. You can see fuel now coming. It's now coming. Now coming. Now coming. You don't see even any bubbles showing. Like even the other side, there are no bubbles. So when I pull. Can see that there's a lot of fear fuel enclosed inside and it's going to sprinkle as you can see so it this pump closes pressure and pumps inside there so it forces fuel inside the injector then the injector now does its simple work of running so so when i pump so the thing gets full full i've returned back that pipe now i get this uh return pipe just as simple as the return pipe I put it back so let's see what happens let's see what happens I I am going to go back here I'm going to go back here turn my key yes I see all lights are okay all lights are okay so you can see the car I'm going to crank and you're going to see I am done with the work, so I don't need to repeat it anymore. So I am done. So this one, so this is now faulty. I take it back. This one I go and uh, it's not a wasted thing, so it's hard to repair it. You can't repair it. It's spoiled now. So that's all.